Unless you're traveling abroad, plugging in your favorite electronics to a wall socket is a piece of cake. That is assuming you can find one and you're not at a crowded Starbucks where it seems like the entire town is hogging every outlet. But if you've ever built a PC, you know that plugging in components requires a little more attention than just ordering an overpriced latte and finding a comfy chair. There are different connectors for everything inside a PC, and CPU sockets are no exception. And unlike something like PCI Express, which uses the same type of connector for lots of different add-in components, nearly every new CPU lineup uses its own socket. Or if it does, there are software or firmware interoperabilities anyway, and this can be quite confusing. So let's break it down for you, starting with Intel sockets. A while back, Intel used CPUs with pins on the bottom that slotted into these little pin grid things on the motherboard. And actually before that, some even used cartridges like the old Pentium 2, kind of like a Nintendo game on the bottom. These days though, Intel desktop processors use a mounting system called Land Grid Array, better known as LGA. All this means is that the bottom of the CPU has electric contact pads, while the pins themselves are in the socket on the motherboard. I guess LGA was a better acronym than calling it Pins on Socket, or POS. Now if you're buying an Intel CPU, you'll see that the socket identifier will be something along the lines of LGA 1151 or LGA 2011. These numbers just indicate how many pins are on the bottom of the socket and pads on the bottom of the CPU. And if you're wondering why they need so many, by the way, a big part of the reason is power delivery. CPUs, especially some of them, can consume a lot of power and dividing it between many different pins actually helps to stabilize it so the processor doesn't become overloaded. Now, if you're more of a fan of the red team and you want to buy an AMD CPU, AMD also ditched the cartridge system a long time ago, but stuck with the pins on the bottom of the CPU, at least on their consumer desktop processors. So they're using a system called Pin Grid Array, or PGA. Here, the socket itself still has the little holes for inserting the pins of the CPU. Now, AMD doesn't use the same naming scheme as Intel, so don't expect to see things like PGA 942 when you buy. Instead, you'll see names like FM2 or AM3 Plus for their A-Series APUs and their FX CPUs, respectively, or AM4 for their upcoming Zen architecture chips. But regardless of which side you're on in the CPU war, remember that both Intel and AMD chips do not require any direct pressure on the chip in order to be properly inserted. If you're pushing down on them, you're probably doing it wrong. Instead, modern CPUs are held in with retention arms. This is because the pins on the socket or the CPU are very fragile and pushing down on the processor can easily damage your processor, the motherboard, or both, especially if they're misaligned. Instead, gently place your CPU into the socket and make sure it is properly aligned before putting down the retention arm. We actually have guides on how to do this in some of the earliest videos on TechQuickie, which you can check out here and here. Of course, you'll need a CPU cooler as well. And although many popular coolers these days support most modern sockets, it's a good idea to confirm that your socket will work with the heatsink you bought. Unless, of course, you're interested in trying to turn your processor into the world's smallest frying pan. Speaking of sockets, if you're looking for something to plug into your headphone jack, Massdrop has another one of their killer deals going on today. The Massdrop AKG K7XX Red Edition headphones are currently available over there at the exclusive price of just $199, which is a whopping $450 savings over MSRP. They're individually tested and numbered. They're open back headphones. They sound absolutely great. I actually reviewed the non-red version of them a little while ago on my other channel, and they only exist because of Mass drops close collaboration with AKG to bring this product to life. So over on Massdrop, linked in the video description, you can find these kinds of collaborative products as well as just any product where Massdrop went to the manufacturer, said, hey, can we get a deal? Went to the consumers and said, hey, can a bunch of you commit to buy? 
and put those two things together. So head on over there. Again, that's linked in the video description. It's draw.s slash techwiki. So go check it out. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. If you want to check out our other channels, boom, boom. Channel Superfund's right over there. And if you want to comment with video suggestions, do that down there. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any fastest possibles just like this one.